it's a it's a complex thing and some people are just curious I think but I think some people can be pretty intrusive about the way in which they want to ask those questions as well so yeah bridging the the two kind of worlds together is, is sort of strange growing up I would tell people I was, I was adopted and it, and it usually came up as a result of them seeing what my surname was. It, it wasn't an Asian name, so they'd say, oh, that's not an Asian name, why, why is that? And then I, I would say I was adopted. Other people could be pretty, like, brutal about it. So, yeah, I think it just depends on what your family looks like because at the end of the day, everybody's adopted by different types of people. Like, just because I have dark skin doesn't mean that my adoptive parents have dark skin, you know. Just because they know that I don't look like I'm from here and they want to know, it can be a bit intrusive. So it wasn't until I was probably 12 all the way through like high school that it was more of an issue for me personally. But oh, I definitely experienced racism growing up um, in school because uh, I grew up in an area that was predominantly white and at the time in those areas there wasn't many uh, overseas students, not, not until probably my later high school years there was more of an influx of, of uh, Asian students. Um, yeah, so I experienced quite a bit of racism uh, growing up at school. Yeah. We'd get into a lot of fights because I would talk back and, and not take it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, long term it's definitely, yeah, definitely affected my mental health. Um, sense of identity, sense of belonging, um, relationships, um, fitting in, you know, there's a lot of, uh, you know, I grew up in a white community, um, but didn't, don't really belong there, but at the same time, in my Colombian heritage, it's like people have an expectation of, you know, what a black woman's supposed to be. And I'm like, I don't fit into that either. So it's like, where is the, where's the middle ground? Where do I fit in? Like, what's my place in my, oh, not only my community, but the wider community from sort of both, both sides of the, the mm. pond there. So yeah, it's very, very, very complex for sure. Mm. And I think when you're a child as well, you 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 already struggle with identity and, and mm. fitting in as it is because you, you know schools are uh, an areas where you develop your social skills and fitting in. So if you are already on the outer, you you have to try harder to, to fit in somewhere. And and maybe it's not the ideal group you should be trying to fit in, but you just want to yeah. fit in somewhere. Um, mm. You might you know, make the wrong friends who aren't the best influence, but you just want to be friends with them because they're, they're popular and you know, it'll, it'll get other people off your back. So. Yeah, I, I think balancing life and having an adopted family for me was kind of complex um, because I felt a very strong connection. Like, that is my mum and that is my dad and that's, that's, that's that. But at the same time, yeah, you do. I did have people literally in my ear saying, they're not your parents, they're not your parents. It's like, well, who else is there? I don't have anybody else, you know? I don't know what, what else there is, that's all I know. So, you know, I think I had to probably go through just the whole thing, like that whole 27 years of my life to just get to this point where it's like, it's, it's okay now, like, you know, you went through that and, you know, you just, you gotta come out the other end at some point, so. Yeah. I will say that everybody's experience is not the same. Language is such a big uh, cultural difference and you can go back to your birth country that you feel so displaced because you just can't talk to anybody. Yeah. <laughs> your anger is probably justified <laughs> to an extent. There's nothing yeah. wrong with being angry. Uh, you have to find some support uh, to help you with that because it, it, I don't think it's unhealthy to be angry but you have to direct it somewhere constructive uh, otherwise it, it can eat away at you and, and cause you problems in the long run. I think it's just about back then just being more communicative with my parents about things that were going on. Yeah I, I just think it's like you're saying, it's complicated. It's, it's complicated for the child and for adoptive parents mm. too. Mm. And then you've got cultural things as, as well, So because every culture is different you're adopting from. Adoption is a long-term thing. It doesn't, yeah, like you said, it doesn't end when a paper's signed and you, you finish high school. 
it's it's a long term thing. I'm still dealing with with particular things, and everybody goes through different things at different stages in life. I just happened to go through my bad stage at 16, and decided I wanted to do do something about it. I might have other friends that I'm really close with that are also adopted from all different parts of the world. They're going to be dealing with that same situation maybe 10 years from now. And I'm 28, so it's there's no set guidebook about how adoptive children are supposed to deal with things because for a lot of people, you know, there is a lot of bottling up of things and I just don't want to just, just put it away. It's all good. I don't want to burden anybody with this stuff because they won't understand and then they'll just feel sorry for me. Um, so, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's all different stages for different people. That's the problem. There's no real handbook or benchmark, is there? No way. Everyone's Absolutely Everyone's sort of <laughs> guessing as they go. Yeah. But as time goes on, I think we are understanding that there is, that it is a much more complex issue than, than what we thought it was before. Mm. And um, yeah, there's the more support services there are for adoptees, even into adult life um, and adoptive parents, you know, supporting them uh, with, with adoptive kids. That can be a positive thing.